now that you've got some time under your belt, you've been doing this for three years, what are some of the things that you see other comedians doing that are holding them back? Um, well, it's probably the same thing that were holding me back is, uh, my thing is, is, like I said, coming from the heart, like from a real place, um, wasting time. There's a lot of time wasted at open mics, myself included. Like you get up there and you have a, a half hashed out premise and, you know, I, I think that's where you're supposed to work that thing out. You know, your, your bit out is in the open mic, but you know, too many people, go in with just, uh, what else is going on, you know, that kind of thing. And it's, right. It's, it seems, it seems, especially lately, like there's been a lot more time wasted at open mics, you know. And like I said, I'm just as guilty as the next person. And so I think it's all about, having, you know, putting in your homework. It's, it's all about the homework, really. Right, right. But you're loving it, and you're definitely uh, getting some gigs. So uh, how, how much time do you have now? Uh, I can do, I've done probably close to, I've done almost 40 when I was featuring and I did a little over 30. My, uh, I got real lucky that a, a, a local booker, uh, booked me for a touring comedian. Her name was Jim Cober and uh, he booked me early on as a feature. And if I'm being honest, I probably wasn't ready, but uh, you know, that ego when you're getting started, it was like, yeah, I can do 30 minutes, which I did 30, but it was just, Hack, you know, it wasn't hacky, but it was just, it wasn't refined enough to do 30, but you know, now I can do 30, 40. 